Hello everyone. My name is Rajamodin Sayyad and I am a technical consulting engineer for Cisco HTTS SD-WAN and routing protocol team. In this video, I will go over the procedure for carrying out SD-WAN vManage disaster recovery failover process. This video is split into two sections with section 1 covering pre-checks followed by section 2 covering detailed DR failover process. In this section, we will perform pre-check validations on both active and standby DR cluster nodes. To begin with, ensure that vManage administrator has elevated privilege for completing this task. Make sure that there is no operations currently running on both active and standby vManage cluster nodes. Document the number of active controllers, active edge devices, the control status, and site health. This is needed to compare post DR process as part of validation check. As a best practice, collect snapshot of dashboard from active cluster V managers. Ensure the health of both DZ and DR cluster is good and disaster recovery status shows as success. Make sure all vManage nodes in both clusters are running same code version. Verify reachability between active and standby cluster nodes via cluster link. Verify all NMS services are running on both active and standby cluster nodes. Lastly, if any templates attached to the vManage, save vManage template variables from primary cluster. In this particular scenario, both cluster nodes does not have the templates attached. Move on to section 2. In this part of the video, we will proceed with disaster recovery failure process. To begin with, pause the disaster recovery on primary cluster. From the CLI, shut down transport interface on all vManage nodes in primary cluster.
at this point we will notice that the control connections going down on primary cluster nodes navigate to disaster recovery page on one of the standby cluster node and perform make primary operation wait until the process get completed Once it gets successful, verify standby cluster is now active and control connections are established with all controllers and edge devices. Monitor the disaster recovery status until the first replication gets completed post failover. Finally, verify old primary is now backup or the standby DR. Thanks for watching this video.